Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you are new, hi, my name's Donna, thank you very much for tuning into this video. I have another vintage haul. <coughs> yeah, I have one, two, three, four, five, I have six parcels. Um, there are some shoes and some boots in this. Um, I have written the prices down of what I've paid, including the postage. And um, yeah. If you've seen my videos before, um, you'll know that I am, I won't just buy something on a whim. I do tend to scroll through and scroll through. I do like to try and find the cheapest that I can find something. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to open what I got. Um, yeah, I'm just going to show you what I got. So, first item came like this so I am just going to open it and see what we've got and this is a jumper for my daughter oh that's nice um so it is a feeler jumper it is immaculate apparently it only got wore once and it looks immaculate so it's got the little zip there. It even still feels new on the inside. Um, I paid £6.52 for this. And that is including um, the postage. So it's got feeler down the arm. Same on that one. And yeah, it's just a lush black jumper. So uh, first purchase, thumbs up, very happy. <clears throat> next up this is a pair of trainers again for my daughter um i'm just gonna cross things off as i go so we've done that um so this is a pair of trainers so i think this is a black pair of puma trainers and yes it is okay so just get under the rubbish Oh, these are nice. Right, lighting's pretty dismal, but it's got a nice shiny bit here. Um, it's a bit hard. So that's what they look like. They are in great, great condition. As you can see, they don't even look like they've been worn. Um, I paid... £8.49 for these, including postage. So, yeah, size 5, which is what I wanted. Happy, happy. Really happy. So, good, good, good. Next up. This is something for me. Um, I'm after some long boots. Now, I've bought a fair few boots now off Vinted. Not really had much luck. Um, some I've put back on Vinted and resold. Um, yeah. Now I thought, I'm just checking because these were listed as June boots, um, but I can't actually see anywhere on them that says June um, and surely if that is what the brand was, it would say it on it, would it not? So I'm just having a look, see if I can see any sign of a, a name. No, 
in the middle of doing a video. Right, I found a label. Leather upper. 50% polyester, 50% acrylic lining, size 7. Yeah, that's all it says. Um, so I'm just going to try them on. But this is what they look like. Now they were bought as worn. Um, I'm just surprised that if they are June, that they're not. They haven't got the name on them. They look a little bit snug. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them on. Because I've got quite wide calves. Oh, so yeah, they are quite tight. Right. I'll just put the other one on so you can see what I'm dealing with. Taking my little slippers off. Oh, this one's even tighter. I don't know if you can see them. because they are fairly comfy I think but then saying that I feel like the heels sunk a little bit in this one see what I mean I don't tend to have much luck with boots i bought these as a size seven and they still feel too small um oh. trying to get them off Ugh. oh see that oh there is a tap there is a label in there i just can't see it oh they are june June London. Um, it says right in the bottom. So uh, she was right, but they just are a little bit too snug for me. Ooh. Oh, that was a bit of a workout. Okay. Um, this is a bag. I'm hoping this is going to be nice because the one I'm using at the minute, I would not long got from either Timu or Sheen. I can't quite remember, but I got a black one with loads and loads of pockets. If you see my previous hauls, you will see that I got a black bag not long ago. And already the pockets, two of the pockets have got holes in already. So that is a thing with Timu. Sometimes you get what you pay for. It was cheap. Um... So this bag keeps spinning, I don't know why. Um, this bag is a Jack Wheels. The little thing's come off. So I'm hoping quality. Let me just so I just want to see. It will only work for me if it will go over my head, which I don't know if this one will. Oh, bugger me. See, I suppose it will like that. But what, but what happens when I've got a coat on? Um, is it one I would wear like this? I may wear it like that, but I just find they just always fall. So I would much prefer it to be over my shoulder. So I'm just seeing how short I can get this strap. 
Right, I think that is as short as it's going to go. Okay, <clears throat> this might be a bag for my daughter, but it's um Jack Wills. It is in perfect condition. And it's just got a little magnetic clasp here, which just like that. And then what drew me to it was the pockets because there's multiple pockets and that is what I love about a bag. So you've got the one pocket here, lovely. You've got a pocket here, which is a zipped pocket, lovely. Is there any more? Oh, and a third pocket here. So you've got three big pockets inside. Are there any zips or anything? Let me just check. So not there. Not there. Was there a zip one in this one? Let me just check. Right, no. So it is just literally those three pockets. And then... Yeah, so it is just literally three pockets. It's a lovely bag. It's just... I just don't know if it's going to be big enough for me. Because, like I say, this is how I always wear my bags over my shoulder. So, uh, yeah, not sure about that one. Might give it to my daughter. Okay, there's only two parcels left. Um, so, I'll do this one. This is another one. Um, oh, I didn't tell you the price of the June boots. So, the June boots with postage was 8 14 um, which... I would have been completely happy with if they fit, but I feel like they're more of a six than a seven. Um, the bag, immaculate condition. You could easily say that's brand new without tags. That cost me £9.54. Um, very happy with that. Um, so this bundle of clothes, there are seven items in here and the whole lot cost me £12.87. So that is for the whole shebang. So, <clears throat> I'm just ripping it open. And I'm just going to pull things out and see what we got. So, oh, just. So, this is the first item. It is a pair of wide leg jeans, cargo style, lots of pockets. I think these are sheen, are they? Yeah, these are sheen and an extra small, so a size six. Um, yeah, they're lush. I hope my daughter likes them. I really like them. So, that's good. Another thing here. What are you? Is this another sheen item? Feels like sheen material. ZGA size small. Ah, this was the TikTok joggers. <clears throat> she had these listed as TikTok joggers. Um, there's no pockets on them whatsoever, but they're just nice plain black joggers. I think my daughter will like them. Um, but then saying that, she is so fussy, so fussy. Um, the other day I had six pairs of joggers for her. I sat her down and I said, right, I am hoping that at least three of these six pairs of joggers fit you and you like them. One. Now, don't get me wrong, there were three of them were misguided in a size six. They were more like an eight. They literally just hung off her. Um, but there were two that I thought looked quite nice on her and she was like, no, I don't like them, Mum. She is just so fussy. Um, but I keep buying her stuff because I hate seeing her wearing truggy clothes. Um... But anyway, these are H&M, they are size 6 and they are just parachute trousers, so hopefully she likes them. Um, so they're not cargo, they've just got the normal pockets at the top, there's little pockets at the back and then there's a little pull cord at the bottom of the leg. So these ones are H&M. And these ones are, oh, these H&M as well. These might be H&M as well. 
So yeah. Nope, Strad, Strad, I can never say the name of these. Where did I just see it? Oh, there. Stradivarius. Stradiv Stradivarius? Um, so again, another pair. I think these are going to be way, way, way too big. But they do have a draw cord. So, I'm sort of hoping she might be able to cinch them in. Um, but yeah, so that is them. What else is in here? Now, this jumper was classed as worn, but I just really liked it. I love Elise stuff. I absolutely love it. And, oh, it's quite big. Um, I think this is going to be too big for her. Uh, but um, it's gorgeous though, I love it. So it's just a fluffy jumper. It's got the little Elise lo uh, logo at the bottom of that arm. Pink Elise across the chest. It is a hoodie with the draw cords. Um, yeah, it's just, it is quite large. So I'll just have to see what she thinks of that. But she does like oversized, so you never know. She might like it. And then, is there anything? Oh, yeah. All right, two little vest tops. <clears throat> so then there's this one, which I know she'll like. Um, and she can cinch the bottom up if she wants to, to have it slightly cropped. God, look at the size of that to me. <laughs> um, it looks tiny. This is Pull and Bear in a size small. Dinky doos. And then this one is Sheen in an extra small. And I really love the colour of that. That is beautiful. So, um, yeah. Good haul, that. Um, so, yeah, all of that, £12.87. Awesome. Now, there's one item left, and it is a pair of boots. Let's see how I go with these. Now, the boots I wear all the time are... Hush Puppy boots. I got them from a charity shop. Absolutely age ago. Sorry, I'm looking for something to get into this parcel. Um, just bear with. Just go and form my daughter's sheet. No, not that. Um, yeah, Hush Puppies are the ones that I'm wearing. I've got them from a charity shop. I think they only cost me about £6 from a charity shop. And I've had them for a good couple of years and I wear them all the time. They are the most comfortable, flat, long boot that I've ever owned. So, um, I have been on the hunt for another pair of flat Hush Puppies. Now, if I remember rightly, I don't think these ones are completely flat. I think these ones have got a slight heel to them, but it's a bit of a wedge. So, I'm hoping... Is hard to get into. Um, come on, come on. Right, so here they are. Are the laces inside the boot? Yes, they are. So here's the laces. Right, so this is what they look like. See, mine are completely flat with a little tiny, tiny, weeny, wet little heel. These are a bit more. Um, but she had them on there for 10 and I was watching them for quite a while. And then she lowered them down to eight. So I thought, Do you know what? They look in immaculate condition. I'm going to try them. Um, look. They are in immaculate condition. Um, they are in a size 7. So, um, they just do need lacing up. So, what's going on here? Oh, 
Um, well, let's just, let's put it on Dawn. See if they fit first before I even bother. Why put that on the wrong foot? I did. Idiot. But again. Cool, oh, they're tight. See, these ones cost me £12.34. So they were £8, I think. And then £4.00. Obviously, 34 posted. And again, they don't feel like a seven. And I can only literally just get the zip done up. So I'm putting on the other one a minute. So they're on. Bearing in mind, I haven't done the laces. Wheel. See them? I just never have any luck with boots but just bear with that's going to see what happens I'm going to put the laces on Dropped it. Oh, this is going to take me a while. Are you still here? Are you still watching? Get in there. I'm only just gonna have enough. That's it done up. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to watch this video back. Yeah, I don't know. Um. Yeah. 
um that's it that is everything in this little haul um i hope you enjoyed this video and um yeah all my stuff from my daughter was um pretty damn awesome i just like i say i have no luck with boots um because these do look immaculate um I just say they come up a bit small. Uh, anyway, yeah, that is it. I'm going to sit here and tie the other lace. Um, and, um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you again very soon for the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe out there.